Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Some of today's picks will be out of this world and I mean that literally. Today we will explore 20 fantastic board games about space exploration, putting our emphasis on terraforming and colonizing of space and trying to cover all aspects of this topic. I mean, Mars, Moon, other parts of our solar system, planetary system, building, space race, history and even some technologically sci-fi aspects as well. Okay, let's go explore and build some habitable worlds. But before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit notification bell to be always informed about new episodes. And now, 3, 2, 1 and liftoff! And let's start with the Space Explorers. I think it is a logical game to start this top because it is a great game about space exploration. History building your team of specialists and launching historic spacecrafts into orbit. The players take on the role of a head of research and development hub in a space research center with the objective to complete large-scale space projects by recruiting the best and brightest minds to their team. Progress points are earned by recruiting specialists and completing projects and the game ends when all projects are completed or all 12 specialists are recruited. There will be another great game about space exploration here, Inception, but we will look at that game later on as we will leave best for the last. Okay, let's carry on with Fast Martians Adventures on the Red planet. It is a cooperative game for up to four players uh, that has a solitary gameplay option as well, uh, where players face various challenges in a hostile Martian environment. The game is designed to play it with an app that provides uh, immersive experience, additional features uh, and maintaining game's balance and uh, challenge. The game can be played as a series of uh, separate games uh, where each game builds on the previous one or even as an open world mode that uh, allows players to explore the Martian surface uh, as long as they can survive on the Mars. Could be a nice game for starters, what do you think? The Artemis Project. Uh, the game is about establishing and expanding colonies in the deep interconnected web of sea, teeming with alien life beneath the moon crust of Europa. Yeah, about that moon in our solar system. In this game you must build outposts, uh, harvest resources and explore the underwater environment uh, while facing various uh, challenges uh, such as hostile sea life and uh, the arrival of uh, different types of other colonists. The game involves dice placement, engine building, uh, bidding for uh, buildings and uh, going on exploration to earn rewards. The ultimate goal of the game is uh, for the colonies to become self-sufficient and viable as a home on Europa. Well, I found this game very, very well crafted and uh, quite cool. Martians, uh, a story of civilization. Game where you take on the role of leaders of uh, corporations uh, managing a human colony on Mars. The colony must explore the planet, uh, gather resources, build structures and uh, develop technologies in order to improve uh, their living standards and ensure survival. The goal of the game is uh, to create a thriving civilization on Mars uh, that will support the future generations of colonists. Alien Frontiers. The game is designed for two to four players and involves resource management and uh, planetary development. The game is played on the board that shows the planet, its moon, the stations in orbit around that planet and the star. Uh, the players are given a dice at the start of the game uh, that represent spaceships uh, which they assign uh, to orbital facilities uh, to earn resources, expand their fleet and finally colonize the planet. You also place your colony tokens on the planet to represent the amount of uh, control you have over each territory. The territories exert influence over specific orbital facilities and controlling them allows players to utilize some advantages. 
yeah it is sci-fi game in our top but the uh, next one is about one of the most important international space projects 1998 ISS is a board game where players uh, take turns uh, choosing uh, for four Earth actions and four ISS actions uh, in order to prepare for and uh, perform experiments in space. Earth actions include astronaut training, material loading, module preparation and experiments planning, while ISS actions include moving materials outside the station, performing experiments, staying in the space station and installing new modules. Place and victory points by performing experiments and researching the effects of microgravity and the game ends when five americans or five russian rockets are launched and the players with the most victory points win the game so cool game okay let's add an interesting twist to our top what about gathering resources and shaping the evolution of planets in a young solar system hmm Planetarium. The game is about creating a unique solar system by involving planets in a variety of ways. Players compete to crash combinations of elements onto planets and play evolution cards to involve the planets according to their secret endgame goals. The game board is mapped with a series of lines tracking orbits around that star and Players uh, move matter and uh, planet tokens uh, clockwise uh, around uh, these lines. Uh, the first part of a turn is uh, moving tokens and uh, in a second part uh, the players can uh, play evolution cards uh, from their hand uh, to score points and uh, change the state of the planet uh, from hostile to habitable. And if it is not enough for you, then there is another game about creating and shaping your solar system. Cosmogenesis. In this game, players create their own planet system by using available elements on the central board. The players start with the star and asteroid belt and with the help of elements from the four sections of the board, they form planets and moons. These celestial bodies uh, collide and uh, grow in size, uh, develop rings, uh, form atmosphere and uh, even create life. Okay, and uh, now let's jump back uh, to space exploration. Space Core 2025 uh, 2300 AD. Released in 2018, the game allows uh, for 1 to 4 players uh, to explore and develop out the space uh, over 3 different eras, uh, each represented by different game board. Players uh, control an Earth-based uh, enterprise seeking profit by expanding humanity into the solar system and beyond that. You can assemble spacecraft, launch exploration missions, uh, mine asteroids uh, and establish colonies in different star systems. Uh, uh, during the game, players uh, take turns uh, playing cards uh, to construct uh, actions uh, with their teams and bases. The players uh, with the most uh, profit at the end of the game wins. And talking about space exploration, the next game, in my opinion, is an icon because it is about the very, very inception of a space flight and space exploration. Leaving Earth. Absolutely great game, one of the kind in our top. Game events are set during the time span between 1956 and 1976, focusing on the space project planning and risk management. The objective of the game is to embark on a single journey into outer space to win the game. Players must plan each journey carefully, finding the cheapest, quickest and safest ways to reach their objectives while avoiding taking too much time to prepare. Well, let's remember, we are playing the game about actual space race. And uh, by the way, this game has uh, subsequent additions uh, like for example, Leaving Earth Outer Planets, uh, which is a nice game about uh, using uh, new technologies to explore uh, Jupiter, Saturn, uh, Uranus and Neptune. 
or leaving uh, stations uh, that uh, offers more technologies uh, to explore the solar system and uh, make new discoveries. Well, it is a great game, really interesting. Terraforming Mars, RS Expedition, a great card driven game where players control corporations so to terraform Mars while well, the aim of making it habitable and profitable, of course. Uh, players use uh, project cards uh, to contribute uh, to the terraforming process and uh, gain victory points and terraforming rating uh, by increasing uh, global parameters uh, such as uh, ocean levels, oxygen levels and uh, temperature. The game is played in rounds where players choose one of five phases uh, that determines activities uh, for the round. The game ends when there is enough oxygen, oceans and the temperature and the players with the most victory points wins. Really great choice for those who love card games. Okay, Terraforming Mars is one ambitious project and what about Moon Station? Luna Maris, cool game about coordinating astronauts and exploring the moon. The game puts you in charge of a space mining operation on the moon, where you must extract resources such as iron, titanium, water and helium-3. You take on the role of a coordinator and manage the crew to carry out various tasks such as exploration, mining, processing and communication. And there are 10 rooms in Luna Complex, each with their own special rules and benefits. Players use scientist cards to perform actions and pay activation costs such as energy, water and oxygen. The ultimate goal of the game is to accumulate the most victory points as possible over the five rounds by fulfilling project demands, improving rooms and improving environmental parameters. High Frontier for All in this game, players uh, take control of different space enterprises trying to establish uh, factories uh, on planets and asteroids. The core game is the latest edition of the High Frontier board game uh, that includes uh, both basic and advanced rules uh, from previous uh, edition as well. And the game has various uh, solitary and uh, cooperative variants. Um, the game features the iconic map of its solar system, the cards and map uh, have been expanded in this edition and it is worth to mention and emphasize that uh, this game uh, has been designed by former rocket scientists, uh, making it uh, the most accurate uh, game of space exploration ever published. Well, great game. ISS Vanguard. It is uh, one of the most expensive games in today's list, uh, but it is uh, super highly designed and crafted. It is a cooperative campaign board game designed for one to four players and set in a sci-fi adventure, where players take on the roles of four sections on board the first human ship that has the potential to explore outer space. The campaign features a branching storyline, challenging player choices and unexpected twists. The game comes with over 100 different crew members, each with unique characteristics. The gameplay of the game is divided into two main stages, ship phase and landing on the planets. In the ship phase, players manage their ship and make gameplay decisions and then prepare their crew for landing on the next planet, where they will search for answers. You know, for some reason this game little bit reminds me of a movie series about Stargate Universe. Well, nevertheless, it looks very great game. Planet Unknown. It is a competitive game designed for 1 to 6 players. The objective of the game is to develop the best planet by placing polyomino tiles on the planet's surface. Tiles are cool, they are different shapes that a bit reminds me of Tetris game. Anyway, each resource of the tile represents the infrastructure required to support life on the planet. Every tile placement is significant as it helps to cover the planet efficiently and also builds up the planet's engine. The Search for Planet X 
It is a cool and unique game where you must act as astronomer attempting to locate a hypothetical planet beyond our solar system. It is a really great and realistic game that uh, captures excitement of uh, astronomical investigation and the competition involved in scientific discovery. Following a predetermined and logical rules, companion app randomly selects an arrangement of objects and a location of Planet X. And this feature makes this game highly replayable. In each round, players use the app to scan and attempt conferences to gain information about the location of the objects. Players mark uh, this information on their sheets and uh, publish uh, theories uh, to score points. As more objects are found, the players can narrow down the possible location of Planet X. And the game ends when Planet X is located, of course. In my opinion, super cool game for 1-4 to four players. Beyond the Sun Beyond the Sun is a space civilization game where players uh, collaborate uh, to decide the technological progress of humanity while competing with each other to lead in economic development, science and galactic influence. Uh, victory points are gained by researching technologies, improving the economy, controlling the colonized systems and uh, completing various achievements uh, throughout the game. The game is played over multiple rounds and the players move their pawns uh, to an empty action space uh, and then take the action associated with that space, um, conduct their production phase and claim up achievements, uh, if it's possible of course. On Mars Great game that simulates uh, the first settlers arriving on the Mars, um, where private exploration companies uh, began work uh, to creating a self-sufficient colony. You take on the role of the chief astronaut uh, for one of those uh, companies uh, with the aim to develop the biggest and the most advanced colony on the Mars, achieving specific mission goals. Well. The game is played over several rounds, uh, with the two phases, the colonization phase and shuttle phase. Uh, players must uh, construct and upgrade, buildings take on the missions and develop the colony's ability to provide resources. Players with the most opportunity points at the end of this game is the winner. Very realistic game for 1-4 to four players, highly recommended to try it out. Gaia Project, another sci-fi game in this list, but it is very, very good game. The game involves 14 different factions living on 7 types of planets, each with their own home planet. To expand and advance, the factions must transform nearby planets to match their home environments while competing with each other. And there are also Gaia planets uh, that can be colonized by all factions and transdimensional planets uh, that can be changed in Gaia planets. All factions uh, have an opportunity to enhance their skills in six areas uh, for development, including terraforming, uh, navigation, artificial intelligence, uh, Gaia forming, economy and research uh, to gain advanced technologies and bonuses. And each group possesses unique skills and abilities to aid them in their goals. Yeah, it is a great game that can be played either solo or up to four plays. And what would be this stop if we wouldn't mention Terraforming Mars? It is an absolutely thrilling game, one of my favorites in this list. Game is made for 1-5 to five players where you take on the role of terraforming corporations and compete to earn victory points uh, through various means, including contributions to the terraforming process, advancing infrastructure and completing many cool tasks. You acquire project cards that represent different activities such as introducing life, building cities or mining resources and play them to gain bonuses and increase resource production. 
The game uses six resources and players compete to place city, ocean and green tiles on the board. And the ultimate goal of this game is to make Mars habitable. The game ends when all three global parameters, such as temperature, oxygen and ocean coverage, reach their goal conditions and the cooperation with the most victory points wins. I love this game very much and uh, by the way this game has its digital edition as well that is as cool as actual physical game. Both game editions are just stunning, really really recommended game. And by the way many of these games you can get on Amazon, I left links in description. What do you think? Which one is your favorite? Which one did you like most? Share your opinion in the comments and you are very welcome to suggest any other titles that are not mentioned here and of course all other relevant bits and pieces of your experience regarding this topic. And this is it for today. Thank you for watching and supporting channel. I wish you health, peace and great great fun to play these wonderful games. And as always, stay tuned for the next episode.